Alright, so before we get on the video I just want to say that I've moved intro background. Yep, I now live in Paradise Resort. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing really dumb challenges that was requested to me on stream. By the way, you should sub to my second channel, I do streams on Pixagon on there. Mainly Battle Royal, but you know. So I'll be covering challenges like the Pacifist Challenge, the UK Challenge, and Gadgets Only Challenge. This should be fun. Alright, so I'll be guiding through what happens, like I'm going to be recording the audio separately because god damn the audio on the actual video sounds like this. So yeah, to avoid your ears bleeding, I'm basically just going to be commentating what happens myself. Now generally for this challenges, the most common one I get is play battle royal but you can only use gadgets. And I normally brush that challenge off because when you think about it, it's quite easy. At the time of recording this, the shurikens were still ridiculously OP, so the plan was to just get them for this game and I just, whenever I'm in danger, I just use them. So yeah, I did manage to get some shurikens as you can see, so I generally just play through the game, see how everything goes. If I ever get in danger, I just use the shurikens and then just get to safety. So later on in the game, I go for a chest, but this guy attacks me, so I easily take care of him with shurikens. And then someone else tries to attack me, so I just run off activating the reflector so I don't get hit. I run into some trouble here where I'm kind of stuck between two other people so I take care of one of them by hitting them with shurikens but it doesn't quite kill them yet the bleeding does so hey that's quite good. And then the last person attacks me I do see a mythical chest so I get that first. My idea here is to just wait for my shurikens to go off cooldowns just so I can hit him again and once they do I strike. Man, what a hard challenge guys! And just like that, I have won Battle Royal with only using gadgets. However, we decided on stream we'd just keep doing these challenges, so... The next one of our viewers said to try and do Battle Royal, but I only use the shovel. So, this will be far more challenging, and I thought, you know what, if we're doing challenges, let's give it a go. Alright, so for this challenge I had to think about it a lot more, so the first thing I decided to do was go to Mansion, as that is generally a place not many people land at. And since I'm only allowed to use my shovel, I just generally just stay on the low and just try not to get in contact with anyone. However, I do decide it will be best to look for armour, so I go searching for a bit before returning back to the Mansion. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Orange Ninja and this is my new channel. When I got back to the mansion, I ran into someone so I quickly rushed to get to safety using my manhunt tricks. <laughs> and I knew that I wanted to get the last kill with my shovel. So I decided to run around, stay safe, even though it looks like one of the guys was going to try and kill me. But the last two people on the map eventually found each other, started attacking each other, so I decided to go in for the kill. Oh my god, holy shit. And yeah, just like that, I beat Battle Royale with only using my shovel. But as the intro would explain, that wasn't the only two challenges we did. We also done one more, which was do Battle Royale but without even using your shovel. I literally couldn't attack the opponent in any way. So I thought, let's see how it goes. For this challenge, I decided to pick the guitar shovel as that was the most seemingly innocent. I'm just a man who wants to play my guitar, you know? So for this one, I decided to go to the lake, another area not too many people go to. And once again, the plan was pretty much the same as the last one where I just try and get armour and stay on the low. Well, I mean, I pretty much had to. However, I was finding that pretty difficult at the start. Eventually though, I did find safety in this lighthouse. Unfortunately, it was outside the circle, so I would have to move. But the most difficult part about this challenge was even if there was only one person left, I'd still have to hope he somehow is stupid enough to die in the storm or something, or from full damage, because I can't attack them, so there's no other way I can win. Like, apart from me getting to cover, pretty much this game just relies on luck. Anyways, it slowly went down, four people, and there was a guy shooting missiles at me, so I decided, you know what? Here's probably not a good place to stand, let's go in this little greenhouse here. And he eventually followed me into it. This was really not looking good, so I went to the roof of it, and then jumped round the hill. Unfortunately this guy seemed pretty competent and just chased me the entire way, but eventually he ran into someone else and they had a duel. So that was it, it was just me and him. Unfortunately he was not stupid as I've just shown, so... It genuinely seemed like I was going to lose this, like, he's literally in the middle of the circle, there's no way he can lose, like, not a chance, right? 
Well, he kind of caught wind of what was happening. Unfortunately, because I was shaking so much, I wanted to say pacifist challenge, but uh, for some reason I didn't know how to spell it then. So I just decided to say I'm doing the no kill challenge. And like an absolute chad, this guy says, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to go into the storm and kill myself. Good luck, bro. And yeah. Oh, what a chad. What a chad. What a chad. What a chad. <laughs> just like that, I win the pacifist challenge. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm hoping to improve my talking skills when doing intros and stuff with this, so hopefully my commentary was at least bearable. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.